is your man, Ice Man Nance. Welcome back to another video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you ice blast that like button and subscribe for more content. Also, hit the bell for all notifications that they all the videos. Ah, NBA playoffs. Ah. Is here today? As I record this video, it's early in the morning. It's early in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My eyes are fine. I probably see recently, but uh, I, ain't, I ain't going to be just yet. I ain't going to be just yet. I'm getting up, you know what I'm saying? Just on top of this joint for this joint. Start going off. So, anyway, NBA playoffs. Oh, my God. Let's see. 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 As far as disappointments, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about that in another video. Cause believe me, I got some stuff to talk about as far as that. I to make sure I keep it clear here. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna start off with the east. We're going from east to west. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Magic versus Cavaliers. Sixers vs. Knicks. Bucks vs. Pacers. Celtics vs. the Miami. Okay. This is start with the East first. I already know the West. Okay. Mad vs. Cavaliers is gonna be a very seems like it's gonna be a very you know like a Warrior Rumble type of matchup, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a slobber as Jim Ross would say. Shout out to him. But I got the Cavaliers winning this. At least I would think they would win this. But Magic, a little Magic could pull this, could pull this off. But I don't know. Because they don't really have any playoff experience. But I would say fine. I can probably, I'll probably give it to the Cavs. But I think it's going to be a really, like, rump, yeah, World Rumble type of series. This is going to be physical. What I mean to say it's going to be physical. People are going to be throwing around possibly. A little bit of that. Might get, might even get a little chippy, possibly. But I think the Cavaliers can pull this up. And how many games? I'm gonna say six or seven games. It's possible for the uh, for the Magic to possibly give a heck of a series. Could they win? I ain't, let, I ain't, I ain't counting them out. But at the same time. No, no. Kevin can't wait to see it. It's gonna be, it should be pretty good, considering the match is your first first time you know making it. Hopefully, make it real interesting. I'm sure they will. I ain't doubting it. But as far as that, I don't think they're making it. They're just not ready for like a deep playoff run yet. So I ain't going. All right, moving on. It must be too long on each one. I ain't trying to talk years off. Mm. Philadelphia Series Scissors versus the New York Knicks. And the Knicks win this in six. That man, Jalen Brunson. I knew he had his in him when he was in his days with the Mavericks as the uh, second option to Luka Doncic. I knew he had. I knew he had some of this in him, but I know he had it like this. I'm a lot. I ain't gonna lie, I know he had it like this, like this, but I knew he had some of this in him for sure. He is turning to an all NBA first team level type player and could very well end uh, with the right with the right pieces around him for sure, which they see what they kinda do. They might need one more, but my god, make a trade or two possibly. But uh, but I would say he has 
a ring or two in him to get. Maybe even more than that. He's that good. In my opinion. Next team looking real good. Even without dudes. I got them winning the six. But Sisters could. Hey, Tyrese Massey and Joel. And Joel, the barbecue man. And B. He ain't fully the barbecue man this, this, this playoffs, but we'll get some version of that. Hopefully, hope, 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 hope it's good enough. Hope they at least make it. If they at least make it to the second round, East Conference, or something like that, but East, Co- East Conference, maybe, possibly, that would be good. But if not, then it's like, oh, man, but. <sighs> but that's what it is. Hope you don't be still end up saying, but if not, then well, I guess you'll be seeing him in another team, and that'll be a quite a big of a tr- quite big of a move in the offseason. But but Tyrese Massey though, can't wait to see what he does to the match, man, to the match, man. Can we see what everybody else does? You know, Buddy Hill being I think being in his first playoffs, how big of a factor he's gonna be. Hope he's a good factor for them. Kelly Umbre as well. Nick Patum, an underrated name there as well. Let's see what they all do. Everybody, it's really good series, but I got the Knicks winning that in six. Bucks versus Pacers. I'm going with the Bucks. Either six or seven games. Could the Pacers pull this off? Sure. Sure. Sorry, it's how it burned me ball. They got Pat Kosiaki. They got... So got Miles Turner right there. That's one of the names, you know. I think it's Naismith. You know, I'm mistaken. He's pretty good. So, all right. But this is seven games for and Bucks Bucks wins. That man Dan. Is it Dane time? I would hope so. Giannis, I think he's out for the is he I'm not I'm going to check now. Obviously, I'll put it up at editing if I if I find out like is he out for the whole series or is he just out for like the first game. I gotta make sure that I get that correct on that one. I don't wanna say anything wrong here, but I can say they can they can possibly can still probably get it done even without Giannis. It, it, it can it can happen, but they're really going to have to ball out. I think Bobby Porter can step up pretty can, can can do can do a pretty good job in for him. Um, Brooke Lopez still doing his thing. Chris Middleton seems to have returned back to himself for the most part. Yeah, I, I think. And, and they got Prince Beverly to, to go in there, you know what I'm saying? They got Malik Beasley as well, who could hit some shots for them as well. Um, I wouldn't sleep on Marjan Botan. He could very well be a factor here as well. I hope they actually do use him in this playoffs. But yeah, got the Bucks winning that six or seven games, depending. And then, last but not least, we got the Celtics versus the... Boston Celtics, excuse me, versus the Miami Heat. So this should win this at least five games. At least. But you can't count the Miami Heat. They can make this series very interesting. Possibly give them a harder fight than that. Maybe, maybe, maybe takes six games. Maybe, maybe possibly takes seven. Who knows? Who knows? Even without Jimmy Butler, I'm not counting them out. I'm really not. I'm tired of doing that. So. We ain't doing it. I'm, I'm just gonna say, should be five. They can maybe get one game, but I'm gonna say they could possibly get two or three if they sort of slip up. If they slip, if sort of slip up, that's when the Heat can, can get more games than one. But I think so still ultimately wins the series. At least that's what should should be happening. But who knows? West. I'm gonna go just a little more quicker because I ain't trying. I, again, I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. 
Uh, okay. Thunder. Welcome to see Thunder versus the New Orleans Pelicans. As long as it returns back in this, in, the, in this series, I got the Pelicans most likely winning. If not, then Thunder in at least six games. Say so Gildress, Alexander. Not much to say. Not, not much to be said about man. Have had, had an amazing season. That man Chet Holmgren. Shout out to that man. As well. J Dub. Shout out to him. But yeah, man. Isaiah Joe. Casey Wallace, the rookie, I had to think of the name. My bad. Like, Casey Wallace, shout out to him as well. See how y'all all do, man. But yes. That was it comes back to the series, which I gotta check. You know, I'm pre- I might just. Uh, obviously, I'll put up an editing if he is. Um, then I got the Pelicans win this. But if not, then I got the Thunder win it in at least six or seven games, possibly. All right, let's move on. Tim Wol- Minnesota Tim Wolves versus the Phoenix Suns. With the exception, or albeit Carly Towns not being here, okay, whatever the case may be. Suns might win it in either six or seven. But that Suns got to really be hitting all these shots. And they got to be way better in the fourth quarter than they had, than they was in the season. Because my goodness. Horrible in the fourth quarter. This season. This this past regular this Just this recent regular season. Of course. Ugh. Mm-mm-mm. They got to be better. For sure. And the style of play with the Timberwolves. Like it doesn't bow very well for... With versus the Suns because the main guy, the main anchor, you know, that being Rudy Gobert, his perfect defense has improved somewhat. I've been looking, it's, it's he's not definitely not as bad as he was, but it's like it's still not his strongest thing of his defense. It's obviously the interior that's the strongest thing of his defense, so it's like. But hey, I don't care that man Anthony Yell was out. And then that man, that man Nas Reed, tough guy, tough guy. He is a really good player, in my opinion. Like, as far as like underrated key players, like role players, like, yeah, a very impact role player for sure. But I think it's probably going to be the Suns that ends up winning this round. Could Tim, could y'all, could Tim win it? Sure, yes. But I don't know. And then, of course, that man, Devin Booker, that man, Bradley Bill, that man, Kevin Durant, the Slip, or the slip Reaper, as you want to call him, Kevin Durant. I mean, not much to be said about it. And then, of course, you can't forget about Grayson Allen. You cannot forget about that man, Grayson Allen. Of course. Eric Gordon. Could be, who could, also could be an S factor in this. Bobo, hopefully. It's your chance, Bobo. It's your chance, man. Hope they use him in the playoffs. But ultimately, I got the Suns winning this. If, but if Corey Towns does return for the Silver Wolves, then I will. De- then I would definitely, of course, put it in editing. I know I'm gonna be saying this quite a bit, but I want to make sure that that's very clear. Obviously, not gonna be repeating anymore. Don't worry. All right, moving on. Like any type of people that's coming back in the series or in each series or whatever, I'll just put an editing and, you know, keep my pick in there from, from there. But as it right is right now, then this is my pick, obviously. So, I guess Suns and six or seven games. Oh yes, of course, of course. Mavericks versus the 
Dallas Mavericks versus the Los Angeles Clippers. I got Dallas Mavericks winning this in six or seven games. That man Luca, I call him the mythical. And Kyrie and that man Kyrie Irving, I call him the mystical. What these two do on the court is just simply mythical and mystical. <laughs> and then of course PJ Washington, Dave Gafford, Derek Lively the second. Dante Exum. Hopefully he shows up. Tim Hardaway Jr. Dwight Powell. Master Cleaver. Jane Harden. And for anybody else, man, of course. Let's go, man. This is gonna be and then the and then the versus of course. And the Clippers with James Harden, Paul George, PG 13. Playoff P incoming. And Kawhi Leonard? Question mark? Is Kawhi Leonard going to be playing? I mean, I'm I, again. You already know. Because I heard he was hurt up, but. Okay. Bit Zubat, got the Powell, Russell Westbrook, Terrence Mann. Let's do this. Let's do this. I got the Mavericks winning this in your six, seven games. Because again, it's going to be a fun series, though. I really hope it is a really fun series. I'm definitely watching all the way through for sure. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Can't wait. I definitely can't wait for that one. But I got ultimately Dallas winning this. Could Clippers win it? Sure. But I'm going to go with Dallas here. It's gonna be a tough, I think it's going to be a tough series, but I'm going to go with Dallas here. I'm going with Dallas here. What my my team winning, though? But Luca and Kyrie, I mean, you know, two of some of my favorite players in the, in the NBA, as well as, of course, Quentin Leonard, Paul George, so on and so forth. But as far as like who I'm more higher on, yeah. Like who I'm more like in favor of, yeah, those two. And those two, but just really due to health, and that's always been a constant concern when it comes to Quentin Leonard and Paul George, even though they played. A good amount of games this season, and it, it just probably the more healthier season than they had in previous, previous, obviously, in any of their years that they've been together in the Clippers. But I'm gonna go with Dallas Mavs here. And last but not least, something not least, main one people gonna talk about for round one other than the Mavericks and Clippers. The reigning, the reigning, defending, undisputed champions of the NBA last year. The Denver Nuggets versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Western Coast Finals rematch. The inevitable versus versus I guess I guess I'm going to say the Nick Mays Ball. Let me see. Master of the Unibrow. Uh, with Kobe of the Ozarks. And the greatness. The 
LeBron James. Le knows. Look. Up. Le headband. So on and so forth. Denver Nuggets in five games. I give Nuggets one game. Maybe in Nuggets in five or six. Could it get pushed seven? Sure. Five or six. It's probably the most I can give you. That man, the court, actually. I'm gonna get I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the Lakers out the way first before I get to LeBron. Well done, man. Well done. Absolutely well done. You know. Really hope some of the rumors and stuff like that aren't true about you. Because that would really, really bump me out. Like, because what you're doing what you're doing in your career, man, is just really good, really incredible stuff, man. And at your age, man, I really hope. All this being done naturally, man, because I, 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 I really would be, it would have been suck. I say it as a LeBron fan, obviously. Yeah, I joke around. Yeah, yeah, I troll. Yeah, I get on them. I, I'm hard on them sometimes. I am. But that being said, he's still one of my favorite. He's still one of my favorite players of all time. So. Nothing you're here or there. I'm gonna go with those things are not true. Let's see what you got. LeBron still. It ain't really you I'm worried about. <clears throat> Anthony Davis. Played quite a bit of games this season, my brother. Shout out to you. You better bring it in this series. Put up a fight. I ain't say, I ain't, I, I, I know it's against the Cody Jokers, and yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna get his regardless, but it don't matter. But, but you're Anthony Davis. You better bring it. At the very least, bring a, bring a fight. Anywho, Austin Reeves, Ozark Cole. See what you about to bring to this series, brother. Shout out to you, man. Roy Atamore. Can't forget about him, of course. D'Angelo Russell. You better not. You better do good in this series, bro. You're the main one I'm worried about. But, especially from last year, I've not forgotten. I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten. Believe me. Come through. You better come through. All right, let's, let's get this. Quickly go to the different niggas. Let's quickly go there. Oh, and for the other ones, you know, Gabe Vincent, Susan Dinwiddie, possible Jerry Vanderbilt return in the series, possibly. Maybe. We'll see. Because you already know what I said for all that stuff. Okay. Regarding injuries and stuff like that. Denver Nuggets. Denver Nuggets, man. Cody Jokic, who is just 10 steps ahead of any everybody on the court. With the way he just breaks down the game. <sighs> Can't there's not much to be said about this man. This guy is just it's the reason why I call him the inevitable. He's Yeah, he's undoubtedly the best player on the floor of this series. Heck, in in the whole entire playoffs. I mean, outside of like the only other one I would even consider in, in the realms are like the only other two I would consider, you know, Shakers Alexander and uh, Luka Doncic. You know, Luka Doncic and yeah, you know, Kyrie. Yeah, yeah, but you know, let's go, man. Jamal Murray. We'll rise again to the, to the occasion, man. I think you, I, I think you will. I think you will. See what you do, man. KCP, Cartavius Caldwell Pope, shout out to you, man. 
see what you do here as well. Aaron Gordon, shout out, man. Michael Porter Jr. Proud of you, man. You played so many games well this season. After I was worried about you, man. I really was. You know, with the package that you have, man. Like, I'm glad you really healthy and playing. And you are a really good player, man. What you gonna bring to this series, though? What you gonna bring? Looking forward to see what you do. Justin Holiday, Richard Jackson, Christian Brown, Julian Strzok. What you about to do? What you about to do? We'll see what you're gonna do in this series. Peyton Watson, what you about to do, man? How do y'all gonna bring? How do y'all gonna bring? Justin Holiday, all y'all. Just bring it. And that's my predictions. Sorry if it wasn't nice all clear. I was just like kind of like animated a bit, you know, just trying to. I ain't gonna go into the heavy breakdown stuff. I already talked to you so probably a little bit. I was trying not to do that, but hey, it can help it. It's predictions of the whole entire playoffs. I mean, not the whole entire playoffs, but just round one, really. Um, I'll do round two and all that when we get there, because I'm not trying to. I'll do it in another, I, there'll be another, there'll be another part to this. This is part one. So that's basically what we're going to do basically. Part two, then part three, and then of course, part four. Which is, part four is probably going to be the shortest one. Part three and part four are going to be the shortest one most likely. All right. See you on this video. Oh, what's up, guys? This is, uh, well, all right, everybody. It's, it's editing Ice Man. That's here. What's going on? You know, uh, Pickle Robinson, Terry Rose here, Jalen Butler, uh, J Jefferson, all dealing with some injuries or out for the for the Heat. Christian Wood, Jared Vanderbilt, Cam Reddish, Jalen Hutchifino. Oh, and just for contest, this is the uh, injury report that I got for each of the teams here. Just wanted to put this into the video. Well, I, well, it's going to be basically the intro, like a little intro here. So that way, that's covered because I cannot, for the life of me, I can't really get there. Actually, I could put it in the middle of the video, but okay, don't mind me. I'm just like, you know, <laughs> uh, um, Kawhi Leonard dealing with some injury. I don't know if he's out or if he's going to be back in, but he's dealing with something. Ben DeMathern is not even going to be a factor in that book space. So he'd he be back October the 1st, obviously. So that's, whew, man. It's rough, obviously rough going for um the Pacers there. Uh, we got Tim Wolves dealing with something. I think Kyle Anderson just went out. Apparently he, he apparently over twenty third will be back. Okay, you got Jalen Clark. He's Clark. He's not even going to be a factor. Uh, Pelicans. Uh, Zion Williamson is out for the Pelicans. He may not even be a factor. Po it's, it might be possible, maybe, but I don't know. But we'll see. Uh, May first. I mean, <sighs> ain't looking too good. Julius Randle not going to be for the Knicks. Dwayne Washington, Charlie Brown. Jimmy Year, Olivia Saar, yeah, Daphne Melton, day to day, Robert Covington is out for the, the basically the foreseeable, yeah, he's not going to be coming back, playing, that's unfortunate for them, Grayson Allen just had a day to day injury, um, but he might be okay, um, they mean Lee though, he's out to May 4th, and yeah, that's, yeah, fortunate, um, to mention any other teams here. Cavaliers, of course, with uh with Craig Porter, Dean Wade, and Ty Jerome all dealing with some injury. I don't know if they're gonna be back. Apparently, the estimate return apparently could, the estimate it could be April twenty second, but I don't know. It's like maybe they they're, they're right now they're out. So that's just right. I'm just, I'm checking literally as I'm doing this video. So in the middle of this video, so if things do update, I will. Be sure to put it into my into the next part of this predictions playoff predictions here on the channel. Uh, Dallas Mavericks we got Tim Hardaway Jr. Uh, they're dealing with something day to day. Greg Brown, Greg, Greg, Greg excuse me, Greg Brown the third out. Um, he, he's not even gonna be a factor here. Uh, Kong Gillespie, Blanco, Kankar for the Nuggets, they're not gonna be coming back at all. 
as far as like this season that didn't not even gonna be able to play until you know yeah till next season and bit them out there for the pacers he's out not even gonna be a factor Kawhi leonard could come back but i'm not totally sure if he's out for the whole entire thing but questionable apparently okay so i yeah i'm gonna guess he's he'll probably might get it coming back for the lakers sorry for not being too clear but here we go for the los angeles lakers christian wood Jared Vanderbilt, Cam Reddish, Jalen Hood, Shafino, all out. Jared Vanderbilt could possibly come back. Apparently, it was day to day for him, but he didn't play. In, he didn't. He obviously didn't play in game one. Uh, this is me. I'm literally recording as I'm literally like, after the results of what happened with the Lakers and Nuggets. Uh, I will talk about that in another video. But, <sighs> well. Hmm, anyway. <laughs> uh Heat, Doug Robinson, Terry Rozier, Jimmy Butler, and Josh Richardson. Giannis Atsukumo for the Bucks. He may come back in that Bucks Pacers series. This depends on what happens here. But probably won't be for for the beginning of the series, apparently. At least for the first game. Tim Wolves, Cal Anderson just went out for something. Um Dylan Clark is out for the whole, okay, yeah, thing. Pelicans, Zion Wilson is out to May 1st, apparently. Could be, yeah. Uh, tough break for them, for Pelicans, in that Thunder Pelicans series. New York Knicks, Dillis Randall, Dane Washington Jr., Charlie Brown Jr., they're all out. Leave it Sar for Thunder. Anthony Melton, day to day, Robert Covington for the Sixers. First now I just dealt with something. I think it dealt with the injury. I think I think it just happened in the in the game against the Tim Wolves where they lost. Damian Lee, May fourth, is uh, out. He's not even gonna be a factor. I don't think in this whole entire thing. And yes, that is everybody. And yeah, I'll, of course I will be mentioning that if um. You know, any more rises, I'll definitely mention more within uh, the next video for sure. If there's more that is mentioned, but that is all for now. All right. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And.